Hello guys, welcome to Automation and Only. And uh, in this tutorial, we are going to start with some important Python libraries, uh, particularly OS library and globe library. So in Python, if we want to uh, change our directory, if we want to know our current directory, if we want to rename a file with different extension, if I want to open a certain files with a certain name, then how can I do, do it? So if we go to the uh, command prompt, from there we know like mkdir to make a directory, we can change directory, uh, we can rename a file, we can do all of these things from command prompt. But what if I want to access all of these function from my Python uh, shell itself? So how can I do this? So for that, uh, we have two libraries, one is OS and one is globe. And uh, both of these library we are going to use in our image classification tutorial when we are going to start with our dogs and cats. So at that time we are going to download some raw images from the internet and uh, the downloaded file will be in the zip file and uh, for example uh, I have already unzipped it. So now uh, I have extracted all of the files inside the uh, zip file folder and now I want to access some of the files inside uh, that my files folder. So how can I do it? So that we can do with the OS library. So for OS library, you don't have to import anything because it is inbuilt Python library. So when you uh, install Python, so OS, globe, uh, zip file, all of these libraries should uh, uh, come with the Python package itself. So it is a built-in library. And uh, uh, getting started with, we have to import the library. So let us import OS. And to check the uh, function available inside OS, what you can do is you can uh, use the inbuilt uh, uh, Python's inbuilt function of dir and you can pass the library name. So for OS, I have uh, this menu of function out of which uh, this is uh, chdir stands for change directory, close stands for close, after that uh, get current uh, working directory. So we are going to see some of the function, then we have mtdir, so then we have path, then we have join. So some of these uh, function we are going to cover today. So let's get started. But before that, I would like to show you something here. So uh, uh, this is my one uh, current working directory in which I'm having my uh, Jupyter notebook. So this is our Jupyter notebook, OS and Globe. So this, this is, is our OS, OS and Globe. Globe. And uh, I have another directory in which I have make a folder. So inside my E5, uh, I have created a new folder inside that I have some useless file. And inside this one, I'm having a bunch of files, just uh, random files. And I want to access all of this file using Python. So let's do it. So once we have imported the OS library, let us first of all check our current working directory. So for that, I can just pass os.get current working directory. And if I run this one, it is giving me that I am inside this uh, path location. And uh, just to make sure, see desktop, YouTube, important Python library, so it is giving us current uh, working uh, directory. After that, uh, we want to see how many, uh, what type of files and how many files are inside this uh, directory. So for that, I can pass uh, os.list directory so that I will get the, all of the list of my directory. So it gives me two. So uh, also this gives us the hide folder also, hide uh, hidden file. So if I open up my folder, so, okay, so dot .ipynb checkpoints and this is our Python notebook, I mean Jupyter notebook. Okay, and uh, if I want to check uh, the number of the files, then I have to just the use inbuilt uh, length function of the Python and it gives us two because I'm having two files right now, it is giving me two. After that, I can uh, change the directory also. So for that one, let's, uh, first of all, let us define the path. So for that, uh, Inside my E, I have a new folder. Okay, let's just not write it down. Let me just copy paste. Someone has invented copy paste for us only. So let's just utilize that one. Let me go to properties and I will copy the location. So I will just pass the location. And yes, it will give me a Unicode error because I'm having Windows. So I have to use the forward uh, slash in this one. So for that, I have opened up this one. You can just Google it, forward slash, and it gives this one. So we have to use the forward slash. If you are using uh, Mac, uh, then uh, this should run. 
without any error so let's just uh, change to forward slash and it won't give us an error okay so now i have created my path and i want to change my working directory from uh, this to this one so that we can do with os dot change directory and now if i press shift tab it says we have to give uh, one variable a path so let us give it a path okay so now it is successfully run that means we have changed our directory if uh, we have made a mistake if uh, i forgot to put r here then it, it will give me error system cannot find a file uh, with a new folder because it's a folder so if it is not giving any error message that means successfully you have run this one and uh, let us check also so let's say check our current, current working directory and now it says uh, we have changed our uh, current working directory and now i want to access the file inside this one so what i will do i will use list directory function so it is giving me uh, some useless use file because inside my new file i am having a folder some useless file now i want to go inside this one without changing my path how can i do it so for that we can use the uh, path and uh, join function of os uh, together to join uh, two different path so uh, let me uh, pass a variable called a file and inside file uh, now we want to go inside this some useless file so for that i will use os dot path dot join now we want to join two different paths so one path is this one and inside i want to go to this folder so we have to pass uh, both of the information so first of all we have to pass the path okay so this is my first argument after that i have to give the name of the folder inside which i want to go so i will use this one now if i print my file variable so it is uh, giving me that i'm inside my uh, some useless file folder right now and now if i want to check the list of directories and now i have to pass the uh, if i just run this one it will still give me this one because i haven't changed my working directory i have just gone inside the uh, this some useless file folder so here i have to pass the path so if i uh, don't give anything uh, by default it will give us the current uh, uh, working directory uh, list file so if i want to go inside this one then i can simply copy this one if i paste this one now it gives wow uh, it gives a bunch of files so let me go here and uh, show you so here i have total seven files yes seven files and uh, we can change the length how many files are ha i am having so yes i am having seven files uh okay this one okay after that uh, what if i want to uh, rename one of this file for example i want to rename uh, this file so for that one we can use os dot rename so after that i have to pass two arguments one is the source and one is the destination which i want like uh, one is the existing file name and one is the file name what i want to rename it so for example i want to rename this file and now now what name i want to give it so let us give changed okay let me use rename rename file dot do cx if i run this one it gives me error okay because i haven't changed my current working directory that's why so first of all i have to change my current working directory so os dot change working directory and we can change it now i can use os dot rename and uh, let me again pass this name and rename file dot docx if i run this one now it successfully run this one now we can check the list directory also so now you see rename file docx and if i go here and if i just refresh it okay yeah here it is rename file docx so you can rename a file after that uh, what if i want to access all of the text file only not all of these files because when i'm uh, using the list directory so it is giving me all of the file but what if i want to access all the text file only not where files so for that we can create uh, 
empty list and uh, for now here I have to pass the location so right now we are inside this one let me rename this one and uh, let us create a variable called uh, my files okay so for files in my files because inside my files I'm having all of uh, these files so let me run this one first of all and uh, if I print it out my files okay so I'm having list of files so I want to access one uh, means I want to access file by file so one by one I want to access all of the file so that's why I'm using the for loop so for files in my files if files dot ends with now anything of dot txt then txt dot append files now let me run this one now if I check dot txt see I got all the txt file now let's say uh, I have one more folder inside my some useless file folder and I want to access all of these text file and all these uh, text file here so how I can do it so for that I can use the uh, globe library so at that time this uh, globe library will be very useful also if you don't want to write uh, all these steps of uh, course then uh, you can uh, do it with the use of globe library with just one line of code so what I mean is let me import the globe library first of all so I have imported my globe library so and uh, for the uh, information I have opened up the documentation of OS and globe so if you want to explore some more functions then uh, you can definitely check out the documentation but uh, since we are not going to using all of this function that's why I'm not going through lots of function so yeah I, I'll uh, put the link in description below so you guys can uh, open this one and check it out like uh, get current working directory so these functions are described in files and dictionaries after that we, uh, this is our uh, globe library so th this one is the unique style uh, path name pattern expansion as it's written here so if you are coming from uh, programming background then uh, you would know what unique style means and uh, if you are uh, like beginners or newcomers then don't worry about it it's not gonna bother us so inside globe we are having like very less number of uh, functions like globe.globe, globe, globe, globe .ig globe and globe.xcape so out of this one today I'm going to talk about this one only but uh, if you want to explore uh, more functions then always you can come uh, you can open up the documentation and you can uh, check through here so since we have imported our globe so let us access globe.globe globe, and here we have to pass the path name so there is our path name so let me copy this one and don't forget to change the forward slash otherwise it's gonna give us error so if I press this one so right now we are inside some useless folder and now if I want to access uh, the files only text files then we can go inside our uh, this some useless file and I can put a star sign and I can just put .txt because I'm interested in all txt file so now it is giving me uh, two files abc copy and abc.txt so let us check yes I'm having only two files if I want to get the all uh, uh, all the word files then I have to just simply put here docx and if I run this one it is giving us the four uh, word document file so yes we are having four word document file here after that uh, for example after one let me change this one let me change this one also okay so uh, if I want to access the file uh, number after some string then uh, we, we can, can also, also do that, that. for that one uh, we just have to pass the numbers so inside square brackets from starting from 0 to 9 you can pass uh, any of the range here and after that we can put star sign and let us just put docx right now I am having only three files why because this one is not starting with a number so here what I am doing is I am passing access all the files who, who starting from number 0 to 9 
after it could be anything it could be a space bar it could be a number it could be a string it could be anything and getting all of the dot docx files so that's why i'm having only three and uh, we can put for the characters i think we can put a question mark since i'm not having any of the file that's why i'm not getting but again you can come up here and uh, you can explore uh, more the functions and uh, one more thing that if you want to get rid of all these uh, lines of codes then we can do it uh, by using loop just uh, in one line of code only so let us just do it so actually let me copy paste this one since i want to access all of the uh, notepad file i'll just use .txt so right now it is giving me only two because i'm having only two but i want to go inside my new folder and i want to access these two also so how i can do it so for that i can use a double star and after that i can pass a forward slash so up to here uh, this is uh, our some useless file so inside uh, access all of the folders no matter what and get me .txt file so if i run this one still i am getting just two files only so to go inside the folder subdirectory we have to pass the recursive argument so by default it is false and if i change it to true so now see i am getting uh, total four files so first of all i am getting abc abc and then i am going inside my folder so inside the new folder and i am getting abc copy 2 and abc copy 3 so first of all i access these two files then i am going inside my new folder and i am going to get these files so this is all about today's tutorial so i hope you guys have learned uh, os and globe module of python so again this is a very important topic and uh, when we are going to start with our uh, dogs and cats image classifier at that time uh, we are going to use this os file module and uh, in that one particularly we are going to use the os.path.join this one and uh, this is going to be very useful for us and also if you want to access uh, some files inside the folders so at that time also uh, os module is very important so uh, have some practice guys and uh, if you have any doubt then let me know in the comment section below and uh, i'll be happy to help you and uh, in my next uh, tutorial i'm going to explain you how we can access the zip file because when we are going to download our images or i'm going to download any of the file for example uh, i'm i want to clone a git file so that is going to be downloaded in zip file so if i want to unzip it without any software how i can do it so we can do it uh, with the python and it is uh, very easy few lines of code and uh, you can do whatever you want to do so in my next tutorial i'm going to talk about uh, zip file so stay tuned guys stay healthy stay happy and uh, see you guys next time